Another benefit of using the SX10 to collect data is the high resolution camera inside the instrument. From these images, point clouds can be colorized and panoramas can be generated. These are both great visuals to provide the client in regards to viewing and analyzing the project site. Before we create a panorama and colorize the point clouds, let's view the options menu. Under the point cloud tab, there is an option to colorize scan data automatically from images. This is set on by default. In the image tab, you can downsample the station view images to provide increased software rendering times when displaying large sets of images. If you didn't colorize your scans on import, like I did, you can do this from the point clouds tab under rendering. In this command, the buttons to the left of the station open up a station view at that particular station. I'll select the button beside station 100. You can see it opens a station view at station 100. This is useful for viewing the images at this station prior and after colorizing. This button will select all stations for colorizing. As well, you can select individual stations. Information on the scans and number of points is displayed as well. I'll select process to start the colorization procedure. Note, when colorizing scans, this can be a time-consuming process depending on the scan size and number of images. Once TBC is finished colorizing, I'll go back to the view filter manager and turn the point cloud regions on. You can see now that the point clouds that were displayed in a default scan color of gray are now displayed in the colorized true color. The true color setting is based off the image color, which is determined in the colorization process. The next option to be demonstrated is the process panoramas command. Images generated from this command provide users with high resolution panoramic images that can be used to perform quality control on the data or provide an additional deliverable to the client. Once again, this process can take a long time depending on the amount of images and the resolution of those images. The buttons on the left side perform the same function as in the colorize option in which they open a station view at that particular station. The buttons on the top right select all images to do the following. Balance the exposure, blend the edges of adjoining images, and create panoramic. I'm going to select the balance exposure and the blend images buttons to select all the stations and then I'll press process. I'm choosing to do this before creating the panoramic files as creating panoramas can take a long time depending on the amount of images and scans as well as their size. Once this process is finished you can see that each station that was blended and balanced has a green box around it now. I'll open up a station view at scan 11 and we can see how the images around this station were balanced and blended. The shading shown across each of the adjoining strips here is due to the fact that they are overlapping images. You will not see this shading once you process the panoramas. TBC gives users the ability to process panoramas in KML, KMZ, JPEG, an HTML format. I'm going to select the KML format so we can view this panorama in Google Earth. To use the Google Earth KML panoramic file format, first you have to sign up for an InSphere account. This is a free process and takes very little time. You'll be prompted when you select process to create the InSphere account. Once the processing is done, you can select open file location to display the folder with the process panoramas. By default, this is the project import export folder. You can also change this in the user options menu. Once processed, the KMZ files can be imported into Google Earth and viewed. Many clients are familiar with Google Earth and this provides a more visual deliverable that can help clients understand the survey data collected in the field as well as the site conditions. I'm going to view some of the station data that was processed into panoramic views in Google Earth now to demonstrate this. In Google Earth, a node is created which contains the panoramic image 
Here you can view this similar to a street view or a station view and see the process panoramic image. This concludes the demonstration on project management and documentation tasks using SX10 data regarding quantity surveys. The next topic we'll discuss is earthwork analysis over time.